All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to go over inverted dampers. I'm going to tell you what inverted dampers are, what the purpose of them is for, and whether you should actually get inverted dampers in the coilover kit you're looking to buy for your car. So firstly, what are inverted dampers? So inverted dampers are literally what the name says. They are a inverted damper design where the oil and gas section of the damper is placed at the top of the entire strut design as opposed to the bottom. Now, the most important thing to note about these is this is only available on strut type suspension. So McPherson strut cars, you won't find inverted dampers for double A arm type cars. There's a few reasons for that, but basically the main reason and the biggest benefit of these types of dampers is the fact that they are much more rigid than the standard setup. So on a McPherson strut car, the issue you have is that you've got the the damper body and then you've got the piston shaft here and it's usually quite skinny and as you go around corners this gets pressure applied to it from the side as you turn and so this shaft can actually bend now it's not going to bend like that but in extreme cases basically motorsport rally things like that that can be a serious problem and it can actually break and so the way to resolve that is by making the inverted damper, you have now this outer tube, which is a lot wider and it gives you a lot more rigidness compared to this skinny tube. And as a result, the whole thing is stronger. So basically these were designed for motorsport purposes to eliminate this problem and have less deflection, less flexing and less risk of it breaking when going around corners, doing jumps and rally, things like that on the suspension. Now, the reason why double A arms don't have this is because they don't put as much pressure on the dampers or on the actual coilover itself. They're more up and down. They don't really have the side to side movement because they're not part of the pivot point. And so that's why the there's no really a point to having inverted dampers on those. So that's what they are. Now, as you can see on this diagram, I've just shown the internals here. So basically the piston is upside down. The oil is here and the gas is here. And on a normal suspension, it would be the other way around. So it would be like, say like, let's say for instance, this one, if I draw the piston, the piston would be here like that inside this damper. And that would be a normal one. And you would have the oil there and then you would have the gas down here. And these are only available on monotubes because monotubes allow you to install them inverted. Twin tubes, sorry, don't allow you to install them upside down, but monotubes do. So inverted dampers are always monotube. Now, there's a couple of pros and cons to these. So I'm gonna go over them quickly. So obviously the first one I just said is the rigidness and that's the main idea behind them. But there's a couple more as well. So in terms of pros, we've got the rigidness, like we said, so rigid and less likely to break. Now the next pro is that the piston rod can actually be skinnier and as a result you get more oil capacity. So more oil capacity because you have to keep in mind that as the piston enters it's going to displace some of the oil and so you need to account for that with the gas and there's a whole lot of uh, science behind that which i'm not going to go into in this video but basically on the other damper the upright one if you're trying to get it stronger you'd have to make this piston shaft bigger which basically means you have less room to work with in terms of the oil in the actual damper this because you've got the outer wall doing the strength you can have a skinnier piston shaft because that's no longer the part that's taking the the strength and as a result you can make it skinnier and have more oil capacity in the damper so that's the benefit of that and that just helps keep it cool and all the other positives that come with more damper oil now the next one is that it moves the weight to the unsprung so sprung weight so it moves the weight to the sprung from the unsprung weight so on a normal damper all this weight is down here now it's not a huge amount but it's still something and basically that will be part of the unsprung weight of the car, which is harder to get rid of. When it's this way, because it's bolted to the top on the body or on the chassis, it's no longer part of the unsprung weight, but now it's sprung weight, which is easier to manage. And so that's a small benefit of having these as well. Now, another one is that it moves the oil and gas of the damper away from the heat source. So I'm gonna put less heat because what happens is on an upright one, you've got the gas and the oil down here and you have the brakes right here, which are a major source of heat. And so these can heat up and then as a result during racing, that's obviously not beneficial because when the damper oil heats up, it performs worse. And so they can't do their job. So by moving it up, you've shifted it away 
from the heat source and now it can stay cooler easier because it's further away so that's another pro now there are a couple of cons to these dampers so we'll go into those here which you need to be aware of so the one of the biggest cons is that you have a lot of friction so i'm going to put friction because of the design so because on a normal one the damper piston is actually lubricated by the oil in the damper there's not a lot of friction as it moves up and down but here there is on this section here between this pipe and this pipe in there or the tube there's friction in there and there are guides usually in there to stop it from or to guide it going up and down as opposed to like scraping on itself but as a result of this because it's not actually lubricated with the oil you get more friction here and as a result they actually have a shorter life as well so i'm just going to put shorter life because the seals and things tend to blow or wear out faster because of this friction and then you need to open them and you need to service them more regularly as a result so that's probably the biggest downside of these is they have a much shorter life because of that friction which is just inherent with the design so you get the big positive of the rigidness but they require much more often much more regular servicing than the upright system which is lubricated by default now another one is also that they tend to make a lot of noise so i'm just going to put noise uh, and the reason why is again typically because of this friction thing they tend to make either clunking or squeaking noises or, or various noises usually come from upright or inverted dampers so you need to be aware that if you're particularly fussy about that sort of thing and you know you're not use them specifically for racing then you need to be aware that there are going to be noises coming from the suspension and the last one is that they typically are more expensive and complex so expensive and complicated to make so because there's more parts to them and because it's harder to make them and there's more you know more parts more science that goes into it, etc they're going to be more expensive so you won't really find any cheap coil over kits offering inverted dampers which is probably a good thing because they probably wouldn't be very good quality and they'd blow pretty quick but they're going to be more expensive for this so the question is now is when should you buy them so let's go when to buy basically because of all these they're really only useful for track or motorsport so if you are going to the track and you have mcpherson struts and you want to get the most performance out of your dampers and you don't mind the extra servicing which is basically going to be the main con if you don't mind the shorter life and the more regular servicing you're going to have to do for them then they're really good for track because of all the benefits i explained so if you're doing regular track use you're building a race car it's not going to see a lot of road use then you would want to buy these for sure that's what they're made for literally if you are after road so i'm going to put when not to buy if your car is a daily driver or you want comfort you probably shouldn't buy these they're not designed for that it's not necessarily that they won't be comfortable but if your priority is comfort for the road and you're looking for a daily driver inverted dampers are not really what you need there's no point buying them when you can just get a regular upright kit that you don't need the extra rigidness from and it will be cheaper and it won't come with a shorter life either um the other the normal ones will last longer and so they you won't have those issues so that's basically it regarding inverted dampers if you have any questions about any of these things put them in the comments below and i will answer them or anything else regarding uh, regarding inverted dampers otherwise if you're looking to buy coilovers for your car whether you want inverted dampers or regular type coilovers we've got a whole bunch on nefariousracing.com so go check it out and if you need help selecting the right coilovers for your car just shoot us an email through the website and we'll help you pick the right coilovers for your needs your budget etc so i hope you guys enjoyed this one catch you on the next one